afternoon, I'm Jessica Dean. I'm Chris May. That woman's body was found around 6 o'clock this morning. The discovery made near a cemetery at Home and Covenant Avenues in the Crispin Gardens neighborhood. Our Steve Patterson is live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the latest now. Steve? Well, Chris, Jessica, I just finished speaking to police on this. At this point in the investigation, they are calling this case suspicious. And with that, not only with that news, but they're warning people in the area about what is happening. Oh, well, I'm really scared. So close to where neighbors here live, work, and play, a woman first reported missing, found dead, now labeled suspicious. That's upsetting. You know what I mean? I mean, especially for the women that live around here and, uh, you know, for the young girls. Police say it was around 9 o'clock Monday night. 46-year-old area woman went for a walk or a jog. Her family called police around midnight when she did not return. Six hours later, her body discovered in the shallow brush just off in the woods of Pennypack Park. Right now, the death is being ruled a suspicious death for a lot of different reasons, but I can't say anything until the post is done and we have a definitive answer. No answer, but several signs of something dark. Tuesday, homicide detectives taking over the case. Sources telling CBS3 the woman was strangled. There were signs of struggle, and police are investigating sexual assault. On top of all that, a warning. People should use extra caution. Uh, women out there jogging or walking, they should be with, with someone else with them for protection, just so we find out what, what went on. And Philadelphia police say they are waiting to learn more after a medical examiner issues an autopsy. At some point, we're hearing first thing tomorrow morning. They're also waiting to withhold the victim's name out of respect for both the victim and the family, and of course, until they learn more about the case. Reporting live from Philadelphia Police Headquarters, I'm Steve Patterson, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.